Hey besties, I'm excited. I'm about to go have some girl time with one of my besties, um, Denise Sumbry, who is the owner of the Positive Life Haven, and she is just such an awesome friend, and I'm just so happy to have made her acquaintance within the last year, um, getting to spend some time with her and just talk and work on some business goals and some business ideas. Um, I'm just really excited. It has been a rough week um, with the week that I have been having. And I am just really thankful that I have friends who can pour into me. I said in one of my last vlog episodes that one of my t top tips for entrepreneurs is to create a tribe and a circle of friends that can pour into you, who believe in you, who will hold you up, who will hold you accountable, um, and be there in those times where it just does not feel fun. And I'm just so <laughs> grateful to have built those relationships. Um, I'm excited to go hang out with her and have some good conversation that I'll let you in on. And, um, yeah, I'm just really excited. And, uh, yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs> hey, besties. I am here with my good friend, Denise Summary. And she is the Positive Life Maven, the owner of the Positive Life Haven. And I'm so excited to have her on today's episode. Yes, we are total dorks. Okay. <laughs> So we've been having some really good conversation and I wanted to ask her a couple questions because I know that you have a lot of positivity and great mindset tricks that you can share with people. And so that is what I want to be able to do on this episode. So the first question, oh, first tell people what it is that you do. I don't want them to assume. So okay. what is it that you do? So as Brittany mentioned, I am the chief energy officer. Ooh. Hey now, of Positive Life Haven, which is a holistic oasis for the conscious mind, body, and spirit. Mm. And I teach about crystal energy healing, how to protect your energy, how to use crystals in um, enriching a work and home balance. Um, I'm, I'm truly an energy-based business, so I just yes. help people align their mindset with their energy so they can move life work and you are so good at it i've oh. only been over here for about an hour and a half and my whole life has been gotten and i bought some stones it's just yeah i love you oh i love you more <laughs> okay so <laughs> okay so the first question i want to ask you is what do you know for sure so what is it about your mission your vision and the life what your purpose is what do you, what is that thing that you know for sure that you were put on this earth to do or to experience or change let us know mm -hmm. um i know for sure that we are the creators of our reality mm -hmm. and we are truly magic yeah. and it really anything that we need in life we have within ourselves yes. and from the offerings of Mother Earth. We have everything that we need to accomplish goals, to live a fulfilling and positive life within us and here on Earth. So that's yes. one thing that I know for sure. Oh my gosh. So if there was someone who was kind of stuck, right, and there are goals that they want to achieve, because a lot of the people who um, are viewers of this vlog are either entrepreneurs whether they're full-time or part-time they might be moms or they might be in school and they're trying to figure out what it is they need to do next so someone who's stuck in that mindset of maybe that they can't have more than what they have right now and that or they're super complacent with their job or their lifestyle or their relationships um, what would be something that you could tell them that they could do to shift that mindset so that they can believe that they are that person who is in control of their destiny and can make great things happen Yes, yes. <laughs> I think that it really starts with having someone on the outside identify that you have the spark mm. inside you. Okay. Because when we think about someone who is complacent, um, maybe a little down in the dumps, not able to kind of um, move forward, it does involve some outer influences. Right. To right. Um, say, hey, no, I see the light within you yeah you know so really talking with someone who you can trust um, who may be part of your tribe someone mm -hmm. who um, is kind of doing what you think you may want to do mm -hmm. or is, yeah. is, is striving really well um, has a lot going on whatever that component is reach out and say hey this is this is where I'm at 
you know, what do you think I'm good at? Yeah, that's a good question. What are some with. things you see in me that, you know, can help spark spark that light bulb to yes. go off? And, um, and I think from there, it's all about moving with that momentum. So yes. now, what are you going to do with that information? Yes, because it's, it's easy to just tell someone to give you a compliment and you do nothing with it. But actually to take that compliment and run with it. Right. Um, and I think that's a, that's a really good point because there you included people in my tribe who when i'm feeling down in the dumps or stressed or feel defeated like i'll be like i can't do it anymore and they'll be like no you can do this you were yes. built for this you were made for this and this is why and this is why you're so awesome and it's just like it's not that you're um fishing for compliments but it's that you have people around you who want to see you shine um i think as women especially as black women we get this rep for rep of that we don't want to support each other or um that we're only out for ourselves and that we can't compliment each other because we're afraid that someone's going to get something we don't have and really we shine brighter and we are more successful when we can pour into each other yes and work as a collective instead of competition i mean I don't know what I would do without my tribe who yes. gives me the compliments or yes. gives me the encouragement and being able to do that for other people too because a lot of times people can see something in you that you can't see in yourself right. so you saying oh I'm not good enough for something other people can tell you what do you mean you've accomplished this and this and this and this and you're like wow I didn't even think of that that I didn't even know that was possible or that I could even have those things and yeah I love that yeah and another key thing though with that too is um, you have to be ready to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I've come in contact with people who, you know, um, talk with me and we're having good discussion and can feel that momentum, but they're not willing to do the work. Yep. You know, and I'm only willing to help someone who is willing to help themselves. Ooh. And you don't want to get in that pattern of seeking um, that information or seeking the tips and suggestions and building that momentum and then um, not doing anything with right. it because then the other person is going to lose that trust. That's very, very, very true. And they're going to think that you're a flake. You yes. Know, you or know. get frustrated where it's like, why are you always talking about what you need and I give you the tools and you don't do anything? Like, you, you don't need anything. You just want somebody to pat you on the back yes. um, and make you feel good for the moment. But And it's a, lot, it's a big difference when you are ready to make that shift too. Yes. Like, you receive those compliments. I'm not compliments because they're nice and that people say about you, but you receive that encouragement on a completely different level when you're ready to do the work. If you are just taking that positive feedback and just saying, okay, thanks, I just needed that, as opposed to, all right, that's what I needed to keep going, or that's what I need to get started and mm -hmm. I can do this. It's yes. a completely different reception mm -hmm. um, in that aspect. So that's awesome. Thank you for that. Yeah, yes. absolutely. You don't want to be an energy sucker. You want to be an mm -hmm. energy cultivator. I know some, some energy suckers, man. Okay, all right. So the next thing I wanted to ask you, okay, so in one of my last vlog episodes, I talked about um, my five top tips for entrepreneurs. And one of those tips was that you just have to start mm -hmm. and you just have to get started. And when we met about a year ago, and you were talking about how you wanted to start this holistic business and how you had these ideas and it's something that you were really interested in. And now you're actually doing it. And you actually have an event tomorrow that I'm gonna be at that I'm so excited about. Um, slinging your crystals and your positive energy. And so tell me the difference that you've seen in your life since you just started. So whether it's your relationships and your mindset and your drive and your business, what shift have you seen since you've actually done some work, you did, did something, just started? Yeah, with just basically jumping in feet first, um, just the avenues opening up. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll, I'll say the first um, this year, kind of doing a vending event, right? It was it happened on a whim right and i'm like i'm just gonna do it yeah i emailed the place they were like we have one table one table and it's yours if you want it and i was like okay i'm gonna do it and it turned into this wonderful event where i met so many other holistic businesses yes. that now want to work with me for future events right yes 
and people are curious like what are these crystals yes. and you know what is this positive life haven yes. how can i get some of that so just the once you start you start to align with the people that you need to know yes. or talk with you align with the events or opportunities that you need yes. to be a part of they basically just start knocking in your email box or knocking you know on your social media inboxes mm -hmm. um <clears throat> so i think that's one of the biggest things for me is the the people and places that have now aligned with um more opportunities yes and i would say the um really being intentional with um truly saying this this is what i'm here for this is what i want to do so now how am i going to dedicate time to it every day yes and it's possible even with a busy life even with kids we both have kids we both have worked full-time jobs while starting our businesses both have husbands that we have to be committed to yes. and it's possible um one thing I've been learning is if you want something bad enough, you will make the time for it. You will find the time. Just like if it's that one expensive thing that you mm -hmm. want so badly, you feel like you can't live it out. You'll find that money. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> like you'll you, find the time. And I found that over the course of the year, it's still evolving. So meaning that I've just re, um, recently redid the budget. Cause I'm yes. like, oh, I need to try something new. You know, let me revisit this to make sure I'm not missing out on some extra cash mm -hmm. or opportunity that I can be putting towards my business. Um, like I just mentioned to you, being intentional with um, dedicating hours in the week towards what a part-time gig, which yes. is my purpose. So I still yeah. work full time for um, a corporate company. But I know that when I leave there, I'm going to go to my God job. Yes! Right? I love when you say that. <laughs> and I'm going to dedicate, you know, from six to nine mm -hmm. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yes. And then maybe seven to ten on Tuesdays and Thursday. Yes. And that's constantly re revamping, too, because, you know, things change, you mm -hmm. know, school's back in session, you know. Yeah. So you have to kind of revisit some of those um, things that you put in place mm -hmm. to um, allow you to make sure you're staying in focus and you're yes. dedicating that time towards your dream. Yes. Um, so that's it's just constantly evolving for yes. me. Yes. Okay, so then my, my follow-up question to that is, how do you think your life would be if you hadn't just started? Hmm. <laughs> Wow. I just want people to understand like the difference it makes to just start, to just yeah. start something, just taking one small step towards whatever it is that you want to achieve, whether it's starting a business or not, something in your life you have to start. No mm -hmm. one is going to just walk up to you with a silver platter and hand you an opportunity if you haven't proven that you are worthy of it, right? Mm -hmm. Just like if you get a promotion at work. You have to prove that you're worthy of that promotion. So if you want a promotion in your life, some positive change or some level up in your life, you have to be willing to start. So if you had not started at all, what would life be like, do you think? You know, as soon as you answer, ask that question, I'm like, how would I be mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually? Yes. And if I go through each one of those components, mentally, I probably would be driving myself crazy, <laughs> honestly. Um, which we know with mental it's all about your thoughts mm -hmm. right and that will drive your emotions so when i think about how would i be emotionally i would probably be depressed i yeah. probably would be suffering from anxiety um i would be very very hard on myself like right. why didn't i just start that you know a year ago what's yes. wrong with me why mm -hmm. you know like i can i can see that like yeah just the stalling right. of of progress and spiritually probably maybe a little little um less faithful you know like mm -hmm. kind of asking the same question over and over again god yeah. why am i here you know what what's the plan mm -hmm. for me you know and physically i probably would have gained 25 <laughs> pounds from all the stress <laughs> i'm really glad that you said that um 
when you were talking about the faithful part. Mm -hmm. um, because what I found since I started my business is I have more faith in God than when I had that full-time job because there's so many times where I have had to put myself out on a limb and just make a decision and take a mm -hmm. chance and the payoff of that was just more than I could have imagined. Um, but yeah, um, once you were, because I am I am no longer working full time, I tried to stay at my job longer. It did not work okay. out. Um, I, I never tell, I tell people, never quit your job without a plan. <laughs> that just wasn't how God worked it out for me. But I would say to anyone who has a choice, create a plan before you quit your job. But for mm -hmm. me, it has definitely been an experience that I know that I had to go through in yes. this manner to build up my faith. Because I think for me, if I had the constant safety net of the job, I don't think my, my, my drive wouldn't be the same. So it's a different journey for everybody. So for me, going out on this limb and doing it for myself um, has definitely helped me to have faith in a, my higher power, my mm -hmm. God, who I say I believe in, but actually having to just go face down in the dirt and say, I surrender God, just pay my water bill, please. I need to bathe my children. <laughs> like I've literally had those kind of conversations and, um, is definitely built up my faith and then for you saying that just starting helped you to build up your faith and knowing that things are going to work out things are going to build up and, and you know these opportunities that came for you did not come out of thin air yes that was a manifestation of you actually taking a chance on yourself and believing in your passion and your purpose mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. Um, I think they don't give enough credit to whatever they feel their purpose is. They try to mm -hmm. scale it down to say, no, I just need to take care of my family and just work this job where it's just like, you could probably take care of your family three times over mm -hmm. if you just took a chance on yourself and yes. believed that you had that power, that you were capable of doing something so amazing. So I'm really glad that you said that because I know that somebody else really needs to hear that. And can I share something about yes. working in, in corporate? Because, oh, I mean, yes. you know, I am currently like a 16-year veteran wow. in corporate America. And I would say the first um, 10 years, I was asking, you know, Lord, what is, what is, my, what is my purpose? What am I here to, to do? I've always had an entrepreneur spirit. Right. And I would... Um, dive into different things, you know, selling Avon. Really? Yes, I did. <laughs> I and I imagine I'm you selling rocked Avon. at that. I had a team of 20 you women under me. I was a unit leader. And I, well, I won't say why I left. <laughs> That's probably a bad plug. But, um, <clears throat> oh, and then I actually had, um, I bought a franchise, um, a grocery, <laughs> a grocery company. Who are you? <laughs> but I guess I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a grocery um, kind of, uh, Lord, grocery concierge service. Excuse me. Wow. And it was called We Go Shop. And I honestly believe that I dived in that before it's time. Oh. Because okay. if you think about now, you're seeing some of these online businesses that, you know, people can go on and yeah. put their groceries in and they can go to the store and pick it up. Well, yeah. my business would actually deliver it to oh. your home. But that's coming more popular now. But this, yeah. this idea was, you know, maybe four, four or five years ago. Yeah, that was before... Uh, so I got discouraged with that because it was before it's time. And um, and like I said at the beginning, like sometimes you just have to kind of ask other people like, what, you know, what, what am I good at? What do you think I'm good yeah. at? You know, and I would always hear, oh, you're so positive. You have a great ear. You know, you have really good um, tips of how to manifest and how to shift energy <laughs> and things of that sort. And it really wasn't until I started working with, um, when I stepped into leadership uh, mm. at my job and started working with one of my employees who was really down in the dumps. Down in the dumps, um, you know, life was not in her favor. And 
with talking with her, I saw the spark in her. Yeah. I saw the spark. And I could tell that she wanted to make a shift in her life, mm -hmm. but she just needed someone to coach her through that. Yes. And I would say that following year working with her, uh, she ended up being an Exceeds performer. Wow. For the following year. So that's the top rating that you can get on your performance evaluation. <laughs> and um, she also was able to move on to a bigger and better gig within wow. the company making more money, right? So I bring all that to say sometimes if you are struggling with identifying what your purpose is, mm -hmm. I have two things for that. You know, really hone in about what you love to do, what yes. lights you up, yes. right? And ask five to 10 people around you, yes. what what are you good at? Like, what do they envision you? I literally right? just told my coaching clients that today, yes. which is so hilarious. I literally said, go to five to 10 people and ask them, what is it that I'm good at? What is it that I'm good at? And let them tell you what your strengths are mm -hmm. because not saying that you have to go to other people to validate, but you'll start to see a pattern in what those people are saying that you probably didn't even notice yes. um, about yourself. Okay, go on. Sorry. It's so true. <laughs> it is so, so true. And when you talk with that many people, like you said, put, put the charts together, yes. you know, and then really like meditate on that mm -hmm. and really just get quiet with that information. Mm -hmm. And if you're still struggling, I like to tell people at the end of the day, your purpose can be whatever you say it is. Well, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. You That's identify true. something, and if it's something that you love, um, I, I think sometimes we put, we make it too complicated. All the time. About purpose. <laughs> but if you have something, a hobby, um, something that just, again, that lights you up, Claim it as your purpose and roll with it. Yes. And see what happens. That's very true because I said my purpose is to design for women and just to be the best designer ever. And then in that, I found out what my true purpose was. And that was inspiring and pouring into other women who want to start businesses and build brands and giving them the confidence that they need to survive. And I would have never known that mm -hmm. if I didn't take that chance of being a graphic designer. Now, that's in my past career life. I don't do that anymore. Um, but I would have never gotten to where I am now if I had never taken a chance. Really, dog? <laughs> I would have. I would have never taken. Uh, if I had never taken a chance, I would have never known that that's what I was supposed to be doing. Right? I would have never known. You're 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 so right. Sometimes it will whatever you say your purpose is, and you move in that, and you were a damn good designer, yes. honey. Oh, hallelujah! Thank you. <laughs> it will lead into something yes. else yes. you know again it's all about that mindset and aligning that with your energy and mm -hmm. your actions yes and you will cultivate preach preach yes preach, preach. your next move yes oh i love it this has been so good thank you so much oh, for joining you. me thank you for my questions me. and i just love you and i love you more. can I'm we hug on camera oh, yes <gasps> Oh, I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And make sure that you follow her on social media, The Positive Life Maven and The Positive Life Haven, yes. right? On Instagram. Instagram. You else? You Facebook under Positive Life Haven. Okay. Um, and Denise Sombri. Yes. Well, this is all we got for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been awesome. And let us know in the comments below if you got anything out of this or if you have any questions for the Maven herself um, and what you have found about finding your purpose and what you know for sure. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, besties. Peace, love, and light. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and check more out at brandingbestie.com. And I'm available on social media everywhere at Branding Bestie.